All right, Shane, so you've been Voice of Potential for a little while now. Yeah. Uh, what's that like for you to be in that role? Being the Voice of Potential for Big Brothers, Big Sisters is the most unique thing that I have ever done. I'm a representative for the coolest organization I've ever been a part of, and I get to tell a lot of people about it too, so that they can tell their friends and they tell their friends, and then it just grows it even more. Now, I know you're a sports fan. Yeah. We got the NFL draft coming. Oh, yeah. You know, the NFL draft has become the second biggest event in the NFL after the Super Bowl. So we've been working on some cool things. Okay. Uh, so one of the coolest things is uh, we got confirmation that you will be announcing a draft pick. Are you serious? At the NFL draft. You oh will my be gosh. announcing a draft pick then. So how does that feel? Oh, uh, like I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pretty big opportunity for me and this organization. So I definitely want to do the best that I can and then I don't want to mess it up, but it's also really <laughs> exciting for me. That is awesome. What do you think, man? Are you, how, how proud are you as a big brother right now thinking about Shane being on stage? It's been several years now since we've been matched and just watching that development over the years, the things that he's been able to do just based on exposure through Big Brothers Big Sisters, I'm proud of the journey that he's gone on because I remember that kid that was at our original match and now he's a young man that's developed into someone that is now representing an entire organization on a, on a platform like that. I'm proud. As kids, we interact with adults a lot, whether it's our parents or at school, but um, very rarely do we get the opportunity or person in our life that um, can be an adult mentor that is also like your friend, but they have the wisdom of a grown-up. So it's like literally having a grown-up friend, and I think that's pretty irreplaceable in my life. When I was in third grade, when I was nine, my dad died from brain cancer. I was finding myself where I needed another adult role model. There's never been a time in my life where I've like felt alone ever since we've been matched. I just wanted to be someone that at the end of the day he could say, I at least have this person that's there. For things that I just don't necessarily want to talk to my family about or just anyone in my immediate circle, I just want someone else, a non-biased resource that I could just uh, rely on and I just want it to be reliable and accountable and whatever our lives take us, you know, I'll always be available. The NFL loves the idea and they want it to be a prime time pick. All right, she'll be announcing the number eight pick for the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, and you'll be representing Big Brothers Big Sisters across America in that moment, uh, making a selection. That's really exciting. That's awesome. Wow. You gotta bring um, the energy. I'll probably go out there, try to get the crowd hyped up, and then um, sure. I'll go up to the stage, I'll go, probably like that, and I'll say, with the eight pick in the NFL draft, the Atlanta Falcons select, and then I'll say whoever, I'll get the crowd hyped up. No pressure. No pressure, exactly like you said it, no pressure at all. <laughs>